Good morning, everyone. Each year, thousands of young adults under the age of 18 make mistakes that can follow them through life. Juvenile expungement makes juvenile records off limits to most employees and the public. Juvenile records can only be expunged after your 18th birthday. Once you turn 18 and complete the sentence, you begin the process. Thanks to the clerk of the circuit court, Dorothy Brown, who is here with us today, this will be possible. In addition, we want to thank our chief judge of the circuit courts, Tim Evans, and his staff for helping us make this happen. On Saturday, August 6, 2016, at 8 a.m., we will be holding a juvenile expungement and family resource fair at Aspida School in the 30th Ward, located at 2939 North Milwaukee. And so you, so you know, this is the first juvenile expungement program that we have on the Northwest side. Uh, bienvenidos para los que hablan este idioma. Hoy, gracias a Daniel Maldonado, el director ejecutivo de ULEAD, presentamos el programa. Oscar, help me up, help me up, help me out, Oscar. Help me out. Eso es la gente tuya, brother. A largo. Thank, thank you, teachers and CTU members. Bienvenido. Hoy, gracias a Daniel Maldonado, el director ejecutivo de Yuli, que está presente hoy, presentamos el primer programa para los jóvenes. Gracias, gracias a Daniel Maldonado. Eliminación de antecedentes penales de menores es el primer programa que será posible en el norte del municipio. Hoy, para clarificar y presentar ese programa, le presento al director ejecutivo, Daniel Maldonado. Thank you, thank you Alderman. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Um, thank you all for being here uh, this morning. Um, I'm Daniel Maldonado, president and founder of ULEAD, that's United Latinos for Empowerment, Education, and Development. We are a nonprofit organization in the city. Um, I'm happy to be here this morning together with our distinguished elected officials and um, our community uh, leaders of our communities here in the city um, to briefly talk about uh, the first annual juvenile expungement and family resource fair, um, an event that I believe um, is going to be of great benefit and value to um, the residents of our city and county, um, specifically for those that hold a criminal record. Um, I think um, with the potential of them being, uh, their records being expunged and or sealed, it opens up opportunities, job opportunities, um, those seeking citizenships, um, uh, obtaining that as well, and more importantly for our youth. Um, we all make mistakes, nobody's perfect, so everyone deserves a second chance. And we need to make sure that we're there for our youth when they do make that mistake. And so I believe this event is going to do just that. Um, I'd like to thank everybody, all the organizations that have helped with this. Um, the Alderman of the 30th Ward and Chairman of our Public Safety, Ariel Reboiras. Um, the Honorable Dorothy Brown, Clerk of the Circuit Court. Um, Aspira Charter Schools, um, Chairman Fernando Grillo. Uh, Parents for Peace and Justice. Um, and everybody else that's, uh, that's supporting it um, directly or indirectly. So thank you so much for being here. And with that, I'll leave you with the Honorable Dorothy Brown. Good morning. I want to thank the 30th Ward Alderman Ariel Barbalas and the ULE President Daniel Maldonado because these two men have hearts of gold. And I say that because they are concerned about what's happening to our young people here in the city of Chicago. They are hosting this first annual juvenile expungement and family resource fair at a Sperry Business and Finance School on August 6th. I am very happy that Danny requested that the Office of the Clerk of the Circuit Court of Cook County partner with United Latinos for Empowerment, Education and Development to help youth offenders get a second chance. I thank the other partnering agencies, 30th Ward United, 
Aspira, Inc., the United, the Hispanic Lawyers Association of Illinois, the Puerto Rican Bar Association, and Parents for Peace and Justice. Their contributions have already been invaluable. We are very excited about the prospect of educating residents of our Latino communities about the availability of expungement and sealing services. Juvenile expungement is an area in which I am personally concerned about. Each year, there are between 8,000 and 11,000 cases where young people are found delinquent in Cook County. And studies have found that the juvenile brain is not fully developed until mid-20s. In addition, 90% of kids who commit crimes as adolescents do not go on to become adult offenders. Even though the juvenile laws are excellent in the state of Illinois, and 8,000 to 11,000 delinquencies are found annually, there are only about 200 to 300 expungement requests for juvenile expungement annually. That's why I say these men have hearts of gold. And that's why I'm concerned about our children and helping them. Our children need help. Sometimes they commit crimes and they feel that they have no hope. And we are here today to say to our children, there is hope. We all see this as our contribution for helping to reduce crime among our youth here in Chicago. Because if they feel that they have no hope, then they will go out and commit another crime. So this juvenile expungement fair, and I appreciate you, Danny, I appreciate you, Alderman, for doing this. This will help our young people to have hope. Again, I thank you all. And we want to see everyone. Yes, this is on the northwest side at Aspera High School, but we're inviting people from all over, all over Cook County, to young people with juvenile offenses or an adult with juvenile offense to come Saturday, August 6th, starting at 8 a.m. in the morning and going until 2 p.m. The school is located at 2989 North Milwaukee Avenue. See you at the expungement fair. God bless you. And now we'll have the uh, chairman of Aspira Charter Schools, Fernando Grillo. Good morning. <clears throat> Good morning. Uh, the issue of juvenile uh, expungement is an important one. As a lawyer, as a lawyer, as a former head of the Illinois Department of Professional Regulation, the state's licensing agency, and now as the chairman of the board of a school board, I can tell you that this issue affects many young people in our community. It is very clear that there's a lot of dialogue going on about new approaches and how we help reintegrate people into society. But it's time that we bring integrity to that. We're either committed to it and to providing second chances to juveniles and others, or we're not. I can tell you that uh, juvenile records, in many cases, deprive young people of scholarship opportunities, academic opportunities, job opportunities, and professional licensing opportunities, even after they have um, uh, completed their commitment to society, even after they've achieved academic success in some cases, they are still closed off from many opportunities. So we at Aspira, we're very happy, Madam Clerk, uh, Danny, uh, at ULEAD, 
for the work and the leadership, Alderman Reboiras. I can tell you that this is a worthwhile effort, and I appreciate the clerk's leadership, the chief judge's leadership, and all the leaders in the community who spoken up on this issue. We hope to see you uh, that day. This is citywide. Uh, although we're on the northwest side in the Latino community, it is open to all young people in the city of Chicago who desire to get information and be assisted with juvenile expungement. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's, uh, that's a wrap for us. So we appreciate everyone for being here uh, today. Thank you.